In this tutorial, I'll be going over a super easy exorcist. All of which the products can be found at a party store or a drug store. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'm about to show you guys the literal easiest way to apply wounds. And this is applying a Tinsley transfer. If you've ever applied temporary tattoos as a kid, you pretty much get the idea. These transfers, you literally stick on your skin, wet them, and peel them off. Now you can order these transfers, which are the easiest, or you can make your own Prose transfer. And I'm applying them wherever I want on my face as well as on my chest. Using an extremely light foundation, I'm then making my face more pale than it naturally is. As well as making my chest pale. Apply eye primer. For this look, I drew inspiration from The Exorcist and Evil Dead. Heavily apply a light pink shadow around your eyes as well as dab it around your face. This will easily give your face just a little more of a roughed up texture. Using a light purple shadow, I'm then applying that on the inner corners of my eyes. Using gray eyeshadow, I'm applying that heavily underneath my eyes. This will give more of, I have completely stopped sleeping, look. Using the same gray eyeshadow, I'm then extending my inner corners up towards my brow to make a furrow in my brow. I'm doing this very lightly to draw inspiration from The Exorcist. To make my lips appear more dead, I'm applying light gray eyeshadow and then going back in with a little bit of black eyeshadow. Because I'm going to be creating cuts on my face as well, I want them to match the wounds. I'm filling in the transfers using a mix of red and black body paint. To map out where I want all the cuts to go, I'm using a gray shadow, which is going to create a shadow for the cut later on. Going back to the dark red body paint, I'm then just filling in my cuts. To give them a little more depth, go back in these scratches using black body paint and add it to the ends of each scratch. And just to make them pop a little more, I'm using a light foundation and highlighting the opposite side that we shaded. You can then go back in with purple eyeshadow to add a little more discoloration to your face. Because I am possessed. I also want to sink in my cheekbones a little bit as well as my temples and I did this using gray eyeshadow. And of course, a good pair of contacts will always sell your possession. 